Hey folks, your first one five Doppler network relatively quiet across South Texas. In fact, very quiet across the valley. Some showers just to our south, but even those pretty small out near Marty Gomez Reservoir. There's a little shower down to the south. There's more, but this activity is going to slowly creep northward by morning. There could be spotty activity in parts of the valley. And as the day goes on, it'll probably just become more widespread. We're seeing some clouds coming overhead now. That's the Sears blow off. We call it. They build as a shower and thunderstorm and then the top of the cloud. The Sears blows off in the direction of the upper level winds are going. But look down to the south of us and still got a pretty good overall circulation out here. It's very disorganized. There's a lot of dry air in the middle of this, but the whole thing is expected to move off to the north northwest over the next uh, 24 48 hours and increase our rain chances. Now the probability of it becoming at least a tropical depression about 60% None of the models strengthen it to a depression, but it's just out here in an area that's so favorable. We just have to watch it. There's going to be some wind shear working into it. Otherwise, we think it probably would. But right now, that shear is working against it. This is just one of our what the models are suggesting. It says that by 1 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, just after midnight tomorrow night, whatever this is, and this is just the center of this broad area of low pressure, moves onto the coast just down to our south. Now, if it stays disorganized, we all get rain. If it organizes, then this west side sees a whole lot less, but ultimately that's as far as it goes. Then it turns back to the northeast and races up into the deep south, and that's the end of that over the weekend, and we dry out very quickly. This is the NAM model, the North American model. About tomorrow morning, it's coming close, but look, the rain breaks out over the valley first thing in the morning, and then it's on and off during the daytime. An occasional thunderstorm gets mixed in. I think just periods of rain, the big deal, but an isolated thunderstorm could produce some very heavy rainfall where you can pick up three inches of rain in an hour or something like that. But even into the late part of the day tomorrow, there's still rain around the area. The low is close on Wednesday, so rain continues. But by late Wednesday into Thursday, it starts to pull away. Dry air builds in, and once that happens, the rain chance is out of here. And once it goes away, it's going to be gone for a while. Looks like some very dry, hot weather for us as we head into the end of the week. So again, close up on the valley, 9 a.m. scattered showers, and we just continue to see stuff pop from time to time. Most of it's rain, but any of that could be heavy. Most significant rain probably closer to the coast into Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, and then things begin to taper off. And by Thursday, again, it's all out of here. This is suggesting maybe a brief leftover shower Thursday, not much more than that. How much rain are we talking about? Future track suggests that by uh, the end of the day on Wednesday, as much as two inches in places, I think we could see probably double that in a few spots. While that won't be the rule, there will be some locations to pick up a pretty good thunderstorm. You end up with two to four inches of rain in some locations. So again, heavy rain is a possibility. 78 mainly cloudy tonight, spotty stuff, but I think by morning is more likely to see rain breaking out. So cloudy with rain off and on tomorrow. Most active areas will be the eastern part of the valley, a high of only 88 degrees. Thunderstorms likely tomorrow and Wednesday. Heavy rain possible from any of those thunderstorms. By late Wednesday, it tapers off, and I think by Thursday, we're back to sunshine. Once that happens, we see sunshine through the weekend. And look at the temperatures up over 100 degrees for at least Friday and Saturday, and maybe beyond that as well. Heavy rain's possible the next couple of days. We'll keep an eye on it, keep you up to date. That's your updated First 1-5 forecast. We'll be back right after the break.